Nitin Rani. Let's just focus now. The corporate India's revenue growth will apparently crawl at a six to seven percent in the fourth quarter of this fiscal um, or fiscal 13. That is, that's according to a report by Crystal. Compare that to 17 and a half percent growth in the fourth quarter of fiscal 12. To discuss this, we're joined by Prasad Koparkar, senior director, Crystal Prasad. Thank you so, so much for joining us on Bloomberg. My first question to you. Uh, why do you expect this such a sharp decline? What do you think are the reasons? No, I think the reasons for this decline have been in the you know uh, offing for some time. As you rightly said, uh, till about a year back, revenues were growing at about 18, 20 percent. But consistently through FY13, we have seen uh, revenues kind of coming down uh, from first quarter onwards. And the reason for this is obvious, I think. One, uh, in all investment-linked sectors have been suffering because of issues that are there in terms of slowdown in the investment cycle. And what we have also seen worryingly in the last two quarters is actually even consumption is kind of uh, slowing down. Just to give you an example, uh, the private consumption which government measures as part of the macroeconomic parameter uh, has come down to a you know, multi-year low at about 4.6%. And it has almost halved from 9.2% uh, about a year back. Mm. So even consumption is kind of taking a beating now. All right. See, you know, we've been talking about the fact that there's been a fall in capital investment spending and therefore manufacturing companies have been hit quite hard. Um, uh, you know, your report seems to suggest it's not just the, the manufacturing side of the story, but even consumption that has been gathering some momentum for a while now is going to be affected. Do you see this continuing? Do you see consumption being hit for a while now? Yeah, I think, you know, the hit on the consumption has uh, happened uh, uh, due to, I, I would say, uh, to some extent on account of high inflation. And the inflation has been persistently high for now, you know, last few years. Mm -hmm. And at some point in time, I think it is having a bearing on uh, uh, cons consumption sentiment mm -hmm. and consumer sentiment. Uh, and in on the backdrop of, again, you know, very weak economic condition, uh, volatile markets, I think it clearly weighs on consumers' mind. Uh, so I think consumption is slowing down and uh, we have seen for example in FMCG, mm. uh, while the overall revenue growth has been reasonable at about 15-16%, sure. a large part of that has come through price increases and volume growth has been you know, just uh, in mid single digit. Mm. And we see this uh, not really changing in a hurry. Mm. I think real hope is that you know, monsoon will be good this time, uh, which will again uh, revive some kind of uh, rural demand sure. and inflation will start easing out. And that can pro provide, I think, some reprieve for consumption. What, what, would, you, what would you make of uh, the growth in services, uh, Prasad? Would you say, because services have been pretty much growing fairly robustly over the past couple of years, services, export-led services, uh, would that continue to grow at a faster clip? No, actually, if you look at uh, you know the GDP composition, uh, services have also started uh, slowing down. But yes, I think compared to the manufacturing sector, they're still growing you know a little better. Man I mean, if you look at industrial production, it has been uh, about three percent or so. But services, if you look at what it used to grow, uh, you know, at eight to ten percent and even higher, has come down to about seven percent or even below in some quarters. So there is a slowdown. Uh, within that, I would say, uh, you know, services like IT are still holding uh, sway. Uh, I think rupee depreciation, which was benefiting them for some time, is going to hold for some more time. But I think going forward, unless there is a recovery in the global markets, unless macroeconomy starts picking up, even services will not be able to hold on for more time. Are there any areas or sectors that you feel are relatively better positioned than the others? Yes, I think in terms of, uh, if you look at growth, uh, both in terms of, you know, top line as well as margin, uh, clearly I think defensive sectors are still really, really better, I would say. Pharma has been doing reasonably well, uh, supported by exports. If you look at large pharma companies, uh, almost 60% of their revenues are coming from export markets. And I, in some sense, I think, you know, global uh, economic pressures in, in developed markets is helping low-cost producers uh, from India. Uh, so that I think continues to do well uh, and so I think IT is, uh, you know, we believe that this year will see some kind of attraction now, uh, volume growth will possibly improve a little bit, while the rupee depreciation may not be there, that is another service which we will see some benefit. 
uh, airlines have seen a significant uh, benefit on account of uh, you know the lowering of competition i mean prices are up more than 10 to 15% sure and we have seen significant improvement in margin so these sure. are I, I would say few spaces one final question what what is your expectation on profitability you're saying top line might grow only by 6 to 7% uh, would you see a significant decline in profitability as well yes Yes, I think our call is that, uh, you know, uh, the operating margins uh, which have been declining for some time, uh, the pace of decline has reduced. For example, in FY12, almost every quarter the margin fell by about 150 to 200 basis point. Now we are seeing a fall of about uh, 20 to 30 basis point and in the, in the coming quarter we are seeing probably about 30 to 40 basis point fall. Mm. But we are now projecting that in FY14, on account of some pickup uh, in the second half, and softer commodity prices, uh, margins will bottom out and there might be a slight uptick in margin in the next financial year. Prasad, we'll leave it there. Many thanks for joining us uh, with your perspective. That was Prasad Kuparkar uh, from Crystal on uh, Corporate India's revenue growth possibilities, a possible decline in fourth quarter. Up next in business, we analyze.